Have you ever heard of the uh, the hot and ready pizza? Yes, of course. We're the hot and ready people. <laughs> on the sidewalk in yeah. Niagara Falls. <laughs> Woo, it's boiling out here. Here on the Friday Wrap. Fun by the Falls is the area. We're on a Hoko property and we want to thank uh, the uh, Harry Oaks family for helping us uh, get this together to do the Friday Wrap. Yeah, Outside it's wonderful. where it's hot and just kind of really sweaty. <laughs> And we don't wear makeup, but I think if we did, it'd be coming off and dripping down it's, our it's face. It's burning right now. <laughs> it's melting everywhere. You got somebody sitting to your right there. I it do. Looks, looks kind of like a famous person. Uh, does she? Yeah, I think she I, does. I've seen her. I've definitely seen her before. On the internet? Yeah, all over it actually. Yeah. I believe I saw her in the uh, what was it? The uh, the crush where they what's what's it called? The Redville Crush. Redville Crush. Yeah. Redville Crush. Nice. Okay. By the way, this is Nicole. Nicole Court. Court. And if hey. you're on if you're on the internet, you're gonna see her as the uh, beer league beauty. How no did one? that name come about? By the way. I honestly just made it because I love drinking beer and playing hockey. So. <laughs> I wanted to make a social media account just to make my videos online and uh, it ended up blowing up and now everybody knows about it. Nice. So when did you start it? Started it six months ago. And you're already like in over a million people, yeah. right? Yeah. What happened was two of my videos on Facebook went viral and then people started following on Instagram. So. Well, good for you. Yeah. Now, I, I've known her for a long time. Right. Okay. I've known her since she, since was, she was a wee little thing. A wee little thing. And, and of course, she played hockey with my boys, and she's an unbelievable hockey player, like just incredible. <laughs> but she also does tricks. Uh, and if you go and see her now, how, how can they go and find you so they can see what On you do? On Instagram, yeah. it's um, at Beer League Beauty 311. Uh, YouTube, it's just Beer League Beauty. And uh, I just made Twitter, it's BLB 311. So what's it like being on the Friday Wrap with Pete and Reed? I mean, it's awesome. It's hot, isn't first it? First talk show. It is hot. It's very it's okay. Hot. It's your first talk show? Yeah. There you go. Hey. Well, the first of many. Many I'm more. Sure. Yeah, many I more. Hope so. Definitely. Now speaking of heat, we're going to talk about a couple of things here in the wrap before we get you in action there. Um, Jim Dio Daddy under a little bit of fire, right? <laughs> the mayor of Niagara Falls here in Canada. And, yeah, big yeah. fire apparently. <laughs> yeah, he was he was on vacation down in a place called Waynefleet, which is southwest of here. Right. Having a fire on the beach. Right. Not realizing that the entire region is under a fire ban. But, but didn't he didn't he pass that? Well, no, he pa he actually put it forth in Niagara Falls. You can't have a fire in Niagara Falls because you can to cook here, but you can't do that yeah. because it's been so dry. We we've, we've had virtually no rain whatsoever here, right? Right. So he was down by the beach, and you know what, I gotta be honest, I would have thought the th same thing too. I would have done it because the water's right there. If something happened, you could splash it on your fire. I would have thought it'd be okay. Now, of course, I really would. the Wayne Fleet bogs are now on fire, and we hope that uh, our <laughs> hope mayor Hope that Jim fire. didn't, yeah, didn't have anything to do with that. <laughs> Hopefully not. Now, we had a chance to uh, hang out with Jim uh, last Friday, which was July 1st, Canada Day. It was a lot of fun. That was a great time. Great bands. I mean, my gosh, Ch Chicago Tribute and the Kings and uh, well, Rookie. Rookie was the other band. They were fantastic. Oh, yeah, they really were. It was a really exciting day. The place was packed with people. The rain went away. Yeah, like okay. seconds before it all started, really. And, uh, of course, we had all the new citizens of uh, Canada that, that walked down in March Street and then came up where we were doing our thing. And, yeah. and of course, we had the big competitions, right? Oh, we did, yeah. The El Salamil Contest. Oh, of course. Uh, didn't beat last year's record. No, this year, uh, yeah, 18.99 according nine, to the record. Almost 19 again. seconds, yeah. yeah. I, you want to try that? Try what? The All Solo Meal Contest. I'll bet you What's could, it about? Well, it's like this. What you do is you, you know the All Solo Meal and you just go, oh, uh, Solo Meal, and you kind of hold You got to hold the O. Do you think you could beat eight? I mean, you're a great athlete. I don't know. Oh, you want to try? <laughs> okay, she, she's going to do it. Let's go. Ready? Go ahead, just try. You gotta do it with me. You do it with okay. me. Okay. So ready. we just sing. Yeah. yeah. And then hold the note. What's the beach? Say it again. Okay. Oh, so oh, me. Oh, just hold it. Oh. Let's see. Okay. Let's see who's okay, gonna okay, win okay. here. This is what we did last okay. Friday. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Is the and one just hold it. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Oh, so me. Oh. I'm done. I win. I beat the Beer League Beauty. And yeah, wait, I'm Beer League Beauty. The I'm, not there. I'm with her. I'm drinking the beer. You yeah. can have the O's. Uh, 
we had a chance to do some charity this week, and that's one thing, folks. In this world, we got to give back. God's exactly. here to give back and take care of people. It's so, so important. Uh, I know you've always been a big supporter of helping people. Yeah. And uh, so we got an opportunity because one of our fans saw that we love people and we love charity and called us up about a really sad situation where a lady had breast cancer. Yes. Uh, had surgery. They're still not sure. What's how the she's how she's doing had a double mastectomy and and hopefully she's doing okay now but she has two young kids and no dad in sight dad left so, at a horrible so, time Ter shame um, on you father that's terrible yeah. so we wanted to help her out she was going to be here for a couple days with her kids and we had her go on the horn blower thank you to them and she so loved nice. it she loved it the niagara helicopters they stepped up and gave her a ride with her and her kids as well and the fabulous people at the co Copacabana, yeah, so they, they gave her night. a meal as well. So it was fantastic. Niagara always steps yeah. up. Kudos to you people. And you know what? If you know somebody in a bad situation, please give us a call, drop us a line at PeteReed.com. Uh, we're always, if we've got the opportunity, we'd love to be there to help. Exactly. And we'll bring the beer league. Can I say, you can message me too, I'll help. Awesome. <laughs> All right, now, we had an incredible interview this week, which is going up tonight. It's That's up, right. Actually, it's up right now. Right now. Dick Gutman. Now, you probably watched some of the Golden Age. I mean, you're way, 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 way too young to remember that, but that would have been the Wizard of Oz and stuff like that, yeah. right? Clark Gable and and uh, who else? We Judy, Garland. Judy Garland. Garland. I recognize names. Audrey Cary Hepburn, Grant. Kirk Douglas. Yeah. You know, Paul Newman, Joanne Woodward. Yeah. Anyways, this guy handled the biggest films and the biggest people, still does. He's over 80 years old, yeah. and we interviewed him in his office in Beverly Hills. And we have to apologize because our feed from there was not good, yeah. but the interview was amazing. Is amazing. You're going to get some inside dirt. He's got a brand new book out, right? 650-page <laughs> book. I got halfway through it. Star Flacker is the golden age, but honestly, if you love Hollywood and you want to see what's going on in Hollywood and behind the scenes, Dick Gutman is the guy you want to You'll watch. learn a lot. So you go to the PeteAndReed.com website. Click on it. It should be right there, and it'll take you right to our YouTube right, uh, site. And subscribe, right? Exactly. That's, that's the secret, yeah, right? Subscribe. Right. Exactly. Cool. And tell all your friends to do it too. And I then, will. And just a quick, quick reminder that uh, we have a bunch of other great shows up there. Dee Wallace, who is the mom on ET. Yeah. She is now up. Yeah. Vernon Troy, Troyer, uh, who is Mini Me, of course. We've interviewed him. I've seen the pictures of that. It, it was great. He was so fabulous. So much fun. He was a riot. He was uh, beyond fun. We have Tia Carrer coming up very shortly. That's right. And uh, she's been in everything that you can yep. imagine. And we have Tom Wopat coming up, Dukes of Hazard. So get on there, check it out. Uh, you know, the great one is Peter Sacco. Now, he's a local guy here, but he's a ghost chaser. He is, and we're going, actually, August 11th. We are going to be out ghost chasing with him, Where which is going to be really fun. He hasn't told us yet. It's no, a secret. Oh, that's cool. Willow Bank. Did he? It's Willow Bank that we're going to, and nice. uh, it's supposed to be one of the most haunted places in Niagara. Pete and Reet will be there. And I said, I'll be holding his shirt, Mark, screaming. Mark this. I think she will, be holding your yeah, shirt. she'll be the first person, guaranteed, screaming. to be running out that door or through a window or something. I don't run that fast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Nicole Court is here, and we're going to take a quick break on the Friday wrap, and she'll be back to show you some of her magic in just a minute. It's Pete and Reed here on Friday Wrap at Fun by the Falls at the Sky Wheel. We are having a blast here, melting a little bit, but still fun. Oh, I love it. Summer's been so hot here in Niagara, and, uh, you know, it, it's really something. I mean, I hate to say this, but we think about ice all year round as Canadians because we love hockey, right? Of course. And uh, it's going to be your time to learn a little bit of hockey. Uh-oh. Now, now, you did play uh, some hockey with Jim and, and the rest of the family, right? Uh, yeah, very little, though. Me, okay. my brothers did. Now, you know we had the Beer League Beauty on here. We just yeah. sent her off to the side. She's been warming up. You're going to be amazed at what she can do. And she says that she can teach you how to do it. So That would be a miracle. Stick is yours. Oh, my. Let's, you were kidding. No, I'm oh, dead Oh, awesome. This is great. All right, Nicole. All right. Show her how. All right. We'll start with putting a puck on your stick too. Okay. So hold it out. Okay. 
That's where as you put it? As simple as possible, just get comfortable with it, yeah. If you put it here, it's gonna be easier. And then, actually, if you swing your hands down the stick more, it's gonna be easier for okay. you. Okay, sure. And then, sure, you're just gonna, gonna lightly easy. flick it up and then catch it. There, you almost oh, had that. Now, yes. when, when it comes down, you wanna caress it. Caress it? Yeah. I'm caressing so the block. Now, I wanna, I, I wanna clear something up here because I actually, taught Nicole hockey at hockey school in Brantford, home of Walter Gretzky. Is that not true? That is true. That's very true. Yeah, so everything you're seeing here today is compliments of I, I don't well. believe it for a the moment. Skin, skin, not that stuff. No. Go ahead. I mean, well, he makes you hold the stick to do it. <laughs> oh, okay, ready? Oh, I don't know that flipped so much. Okay. Wait so, oh, look at that. Oh, that was good. That was good. That wasn't good. What the heck? Okay. I can't do it twice, but apparently it was good. All right. Got it? Okay. Got it. Okay. Ready? So up and then come down with it. Right. Yeah. So like follow it up I have then no follow hand it down. whatsoever. All right. Rita, just stand back here and, and let oh, her... Watch show. the pro? Yeah. Watch the Wait, pro Wait a minute. Do. I'm going to make you do ballet one day after this. You already you did realize. with Dave Vaughn. No, no. I mean in a tutu. Go for it. Oh. Oh, are you going? <laughs> I guess I got to give it a try. Okay. Yeah, let's see who can get more. I Thank bet you. you. I bet you I can't even do it. What? Oh, I can. <laughs> Not so and easy. And me. I got it up there. <gasps> oh, there it goes. Up. Okay, ready? Let's see if we can get doing, more of these. I think I'm going to be stuck here for the rest of the night because... This is honestly something I had to learn like a year ago after I already learned to play hockey. I'm liking this. Well, it's addicting. Well, isn't it? It is addicting. Really addicting. It's fun, right? Whoa, it gets frustrating. Go. Oh, you almost went two for two. Okay, let's see. Ready? Let's see how many we can get. Have you ever let's counted your ten. racket? No. No? Ready? This is the one. This Here we is go. What? Oh! Now I'm getting frustrated. Oh, 13. <laughs> okay. well, it's probably easier if I get it on the shaft. I think, I, I think if I get it on the shaft, then. Here we go, watch. Oh, that ain't oh, happening. Okay. <laughs> All right, I give up. I give up. Listen, Nicole, thank you so much for stopping by today Thanks here at the Pete Reed Show. Did it you have great. fun? Yeah, I did. I had a lot of fun. So we got to tell everybody that if they want to see the Pete and Reed Show, they definitely want to do that. Go to PeteandReed.com. And of course, subscribe. And uh, we'll be back next week on the Friday Wrap. And actually, next week, we'll be talking to people from Niagara Falls Tourism. Come up with a really great idea, but you're going to have to watch the show next week to find out.